Yo guys, welcome back to another Game Boys or Awesome Car Boot pickup video. So today, I thought I'd do one at home. So, um, yeah, I've got some alright stuff today actually. I went into a bigger car boot today as well. I went to a lot more bigger than I would normally go to. Um, I usually just go to my normal small ones. So sometimes it takes quite a while to actually get stuff. But yeah, today I went to a bit of a bigger one, half an hour away from me, which is not too bad. I rarely go to it, um, but this time I went to it, last time, I, I've been to it this year, I went in summer in summertime, I went in the winter time at the, uh, to this car boot, and I haven't been to it properly in the summer. I did go to it a couple of weeks ago with Lee from Retro Fusion, me and him went there, uh, but we did go there a bit later on, we didn't really find much. Um, so I, I went there today a lot earlier, and I got some alright stuff, so I was very pleased with going. Um, I'm not going to show you any particular order, just for, let's, let's show you what I've got and um, yeah, see see what you think of it all. So I picked up this, um, you know, Ted, uh, Talking Ted Bear, um, he hasn't got any batteries in at the moment, but I don't know if I've got a screwdriver around here, I could actually do it and test it out for you guys. I could actually could go and uh, see if it works. Give me a minute. And I'll get myself a screwdriver for this and see if Ted works. So, yeah, back in a second, guys. So, right, we've got some uh, some batteries. I don't know if they're going to work, but we'll give it a try. And I've also got a screwdriver. So, can do that over here. Unscrewing the beastie. So, let's work this in here. Not sure how he works. He might be broken. Charlie, how about a beer, huh? Here we go. <laughs> Come here, you bastard. You know what I like to do to her? Some might call it dirty fuzzy. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Good talk, coach. Thanks. I don't. I look like Snuggles accountant. I didn't know you had a baby. Is it alive? I love you. Okay. All right. So that's where we'll draw the line. <laughs> There we go. I thought we were going to say about um, the thunder bit. I'm not, I thought that would be saying about the, the thunder. But you're going to start swearing about the thunder. I'm not going to say it. But, but yeah, it works. That's good. His mouth moves. I didn't know his own mouth actually moves. So two quid for a talking Ted. Not too bad. Um, so that was cool for, as I said, the price I paid. Two quid. Also found a remote control Mario Kart, one of the ones that I think they're sick, it sticks to the wall and it goes at the wall, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, he was pound and it actually has a remote as well, which is uh, which is good. Um, wherever the remote is, do a remote for it as well. For, for a pound, I definitely have to grab that bad boy. Um, next. I got, I don't know, I'm not doing it in any order. I've got a load of Wii games and yeah, they were really good prices. The guy was saying to me, saying that he's selling them cheap because they're scratched. But they're not even that scratched, literally. They're not even that bad. I've seen worse games at the boot sales um, for more money than that. And, you know, so no order. First one we've got here is complete. Donkey Kong Country Returns and then you know he said these are scratched and he did clean in they're scratched yeah they're not mint but I've seen worse games than that at the car do so got this one we've got um this one as well all complete we've got a Super Mario Bros Wii new Super Mario Bros Wii not complete it has got a little mark a little scratch there on the thingy on the image of the disc but they're, they're not like majorly bad um smash bros not complete but you know the discs are just 
that's not even that bad it will play perfect so yeah awesome so these are all two quid each um we sports resort complete mario kart keep finding mario karts this year drops on the floor so yeah and then a wii u game so that was nice to find as well for two quid as well so all that for 14 quid so that was pretty decent um these are the i think these are the first games i picked up today these are two quid each as well picked up um crash nitro cart complete so two quid that wasn't bad and this one i'd probably not worth anything but i've never seen it before one of these kind of obscure maybe games i don't know but it looks kind of like maybe worth something but probably not never seen it in my life so i grabbed it for two pound um got these games from one girl a uh, lady there um had a few um xbox 360 games for sale and uh yeah i found a good one in this lot as well so the first one i found which is sims 3 a bit disgusting give it a good wipe down it'd be all right usually that used to be quite a good trading one but i don't know um this one i picked up because i want to get some horror games and i've seen this a few times at Carby. It's, it's usually quite cheap i don't think it's worth much i don't know if it's any good but i picked up this one um yeah i will not mind trying it out so got that one for a quid and this one i knew a 50 cent game there's a 50 cent game out there that's worth some good money and i had a feeling it was on the 360 um and i got this one it is a 50 cent blood on the sand um yeah so this one is a quite expensive one see it give you 16 pound credit on this one and um they give you i think they give you I'm not sure what they give you on cash but they sell it for just like 26 quid or something like that so yeah look out for this game guys no one knows this one is a good one i paid a quid for it so yeah still got the prizes on them as you can see and i didn't even hang on so free good for them i love them um i also found a ps4 game not got this one i'm gonna, be, I'm gonna keep it for the collection as i don't have it um um little big planet uh three two quid nice condition and everything so that was wicked so that's going to be a keeper got a sealed copy of doom uh on the xbox one so yeah it's brand new sealed looking good so very pleased with that it's not really worth anything much but too good for a sealed game i'll say that any day um Another game I got, I think, was a pound. It came with another game inside. I even took the game out, and the guy said it came with it. So, yeah, I didn't actually want the game, but um, I got Walking Dead. I don't know if I have this one for the collection. Um, this was two quid. Oh, no, quid, sorry, not two quid. Um, also came with a copy of, of this wrestling game, which is not the game that I want. Um, but, yeah, it's got a disc for the walking down there so that's good found a yoshi a good old yoshi for 20p guys 20p for yoshi um uh, also you know i always like picking up phones everyone's always sees i'm always picking up phones in my carpet videos just because i like the old style looking phones especially nokia's nokia's were pretty cool phones back in the day they were really good the designs of them were always cool um so i'm always looking for like different design ones and just obscure nokia phones um so i found this one today first time i found this ver this variant um you know i think my brother used to have one similar to this but here's one was red and black um yeah quite a cool looking phone you know the shape of it and stuff pound i don't know if it's, it's got the battery and everything in there it is on uh, orange but i don't get them to use i just like having them and display a few and also i got this model as well which is just like the old i just love the nokia old designs from when i was at school in you know high school and that um yeah i love uh the old nokias um got a 
Got this guy for 20p. I don't know if I already showed you guys. He was 20p at Yoshi. I think I've already showed you him. I don't know. But yeah, I got it for 20p. If I haven't already shown you. Um, found this, these cars. You know, everyone who's probably been following me for a long time knows that I had a, my first car was a Peugeot 206. It would have been a lot of my original videos when I first started driving. Um, still got, you know, a love for the 206 because it was my first car. And I found um, 206, um, like, really cool, mo like, motor car, um, toy car. So I do like getting these when I see them just because i got the, you know, I'm always going to have some, you know, it's, 206 is always going to have something in my heart but just because it was my first car and you know the love for it um so i'm always grabbing stuff like this i was i also found a standard green one with which was been what mine looked like before i did stuff to it it's a far it's a five door one sadly the tires are a bit knackered on it but you know these were a quid for the free so and i also got another one which hasn't got there's a big spoiler on the back of it. But yeah, I thought they were really cool. They will, they will go with this one I picked up a while ago. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this. I picked this one, which has the doors that open up and all that. But yeah, still love the 206. Um, but I'm loving my Honda still as well. My Honda's doing great. I'm loving my Honda. But yeah, just thought I'd grab them because they were cheap as well. Picked up these for my bag. I'm going to iron these on my bag because my bag's got getting some holes coming through on it and I thought I could hide the holes by covering up with some uh, patches so got um, Lincoln Park because I do love Lincoln Park great band you know rest in peace to uh, the singer sadly he passed away a good few years ago now um, yeah I also got um, Gizmo and I also got this one, which is a bullet for a van. I'm not listening. I'm not listening to them in ages. I do like their their older stuff. Um, so yeah, but yeah, the singer is Chester. Um, for anyone says, oh, you, you know the name and his name is Chester. But yeah, um, yeah, I've always loved Lincoln Park, um, especially the older stuff as well. Um, yeah, great man. Just thought I'll whack a, a patch on my bag and. Yeah, do it. Um, also found a old laptop charger. I don't always use for the Apple ones. It was 50p. So I grabbed that. And I also got this guy. These usually can be quite expensive. These, uh, was it real? Fur, fur real? I think they're called fur real. For real friends. 2005. Um, so these can be worth some money I don't know if it's going to be okay because the battery has probably been left in it all its life but hopefully not maybe not we don't know batteries have been left in it that have the leaks it's looking like it it might be okay takes a massive C batteries it's actually looking alright in there so it might work but it takes these big old beasties the C batteries um, also what else did I get last but not least I couldn't get not get this as I thought this looked really cool a nice shape boomerang or as I said a boomerang don't know if it's ever been used um, always like picking them up and that is a nice big boomerang here for a pound i think it was same person i bought the milk control mario kart from so that'd be quite good to lob down the street so um that's my pickups guys thanks so much for watching um i've got another one which will be probably be out already by the time i've uploaded this one i did one yesterday got some nice bits as well yesterday so that was fun um and that is pretty much it. I've got some pickups here that I haven't shown anyone yet. Um, oh, yes, I got on Wednesday. This was quite cool. This is from Wednesday Car Boot. I found uh, a brand new sealed Sonic curtain. We looked it up. Used ones are going for 20 quid. 
So a sealed one could be worth about 40, 50 quid. Never been opened and it's worth only four pounds. So that's probably going to be moved on soon as I don't really I want have I don't really want curtains of, of Sonic on my in my house. Um, and they won't really fit anyway anyway. But I wouldn't really have them in my games or anything anyway if I did. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks so much. Um, so that's the only thing else that hasn't been shown what I've got. I've got really nothing else really to tell you, show you guys. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching. You're all amazing. Every day, you know, you're all amazing. So um, I'll, I'm like, as I said, I'm my last one. I am working on getting a new Kirby video out. It should be out next week. So keep an eye out for it. And um, we'll get that beastie out to you guys. And hopefully you all enjoy it. So thanks so much. Have a lovely day. And uh, see you later, guys. Bye, guys.